Well, eight ways to grill chicken, huh? Yeah. Here we're talking about direct grilling chicken right over the coals or right, right over the, the gas. Yep. No safe zone, no two zone. There's no need for it. Fill the grill with chicken. Yep. Spatchcock, baby. Spatchcock chicken. I'll tell you, if, if you're going to grill a chicken in the hole, this is really the best way to do it. Yep. You don't want to put a whole chicken roast style into a grill. It's just not going to work out very well. It's not going to cook evenly. So by spatchcocking it, you remove the backbone, you flatten right. the bird out, and you've got a much more even surface. You know, you're still going to have incremental parts of that chicken that are going to cook at different rates, but it's going to cook a lot more evenly than if you just tried to throw a whole bird on the grill. Yeah, and I'll tell you, bone down for the yep. first half of the cook or yep. so, lift and twist, kind of get it cooking well from mm -hmm. the bone side first. That's right. Best so got chicken. Let her cook for a while, and uh, we'll come back and check it. Let's okay. lift her up and see what she. Oh, look at that look beautiful at that. color on there. Nice. Now you want? What are you going to do? Lift and twist it? Yeah, I'm just going to give her a little turn. That is it, man. We'll go another 15 minutes. We'll give her a flip. Then we flip her over. We're going to give this guy a flip. OK. Oh, oh look, look at, at that. that. Beautiful wow. color on this bird, baby. So again, another nice thing here about our tongue. You can lift the entire bird and give her a flip. Oh, look at that. Wow. Nice caramelization. Mm -hmm. She didn't get too dark. Look at the juices bubbling in the legs. Flip it over, mark them up beautifully. Again, watch the sear marks. You don't, you're not looking for black no, here. No. You can go direct, but watch your heat. You know, it's, it's, it's a, you don't really want to cook it too, too fast when it's a whole bird, but you want to make sure that you, you know, get it cooked entirely. But spatchcocking, I'll tell you the other tip we uh, remind people of, I use um, scissors from the yard, shears from the yard. Yep, those trimming work the, great. Trimming the branches, boom, boom, boom. You can bust through the backbone really easy, the ribs along the side. All right, Chef Michael here with Grill Great. Today we are gonna do a quick and dirty video on how to spatchcock a chicken. Spatchcocking a chicken, or any bird for that matter, is a really great way of getting it to flatten itself out and lay evenly on the grill and also cook evenly on the grill. And that way it's gonna, uh, all the parts are gonna finish at an extraordinarily similar time. Plus it's a pretty cool presentation. So right here we've got one that's already been spatchcocked. It's laid out flat. And so over here we've got the full bird. This is just a you know a small fryer. It's probably a three pound bird. Um, and so the idea behind spatchcocking is you, you're, you're gonna start out by flipping the bird over. And you know, basic anatomy, this is gonna tell you that this is the bird's backbone, the bird's wings, legs and thighs, obviously the breast. So the idea here today is we wanna remove the backbone from this bird so he can be laid out flat. Um, it's really handy if you have a pair of kitchen shears because you can just come right up along the sides of the backbone and snip it on out. Or if you've got a you know rather large sharp knife, it does a quick and easy job of it too. So I usually just start by grabbing the backbone right up here, right between the wings, and then I'm just going to start slicing down the side of it, cutting through the ribs. And then you're going to get to where the thigh attaches, right in there. That's where you're going to want to separate. And then you're just going to come along and do the same thing on this side. Now that the backbone has been removed. You can either remove the chine bone here, but I don't really find that it's necessary. I normally will just give it a little whack, split it in half. That way you can then just take this guy, lay him flat. So now you've got a bird all nice and flat. Um, it really makes facilitating seasoning this thing up really nicely easily too because you've now got a flat surface as opposed to trying to coat up a bird that's round. So uh, we're going to season these things up and we're going to cook them up. So here we have spatchcock chicken 101. It works great. You flatten the bird out, season it any which way you want. I mean go barbecue style if you want, go simple salt and pepper if you want. Oh, that wasn't too good, Okay, it's gonna be delicious. Spatchcock's the way they do a full bird for sure.